Some XML files which hold repetitive content are better suited to be edited in a spreadsheet-like manner. In this demonstration, you will see how you can use Oxygen XML Editor's grid mode to achieve this. We'll focus on creating a document that contains a list of books starting from scratch. Let's start with a new XML document, then switch to grid mode. Double-click the tab's name to maximize the working area. First, we have to insert the root element. In our case, this will be books. All actions that allow you to build the structure of the document are available in three sub-menus called Insert Before, Insert After and Append Child. They allow you to add elements, attributes, comments, see data, processing instructions, text and various document type information. Each book is defined by a collection of attributes describing its title, author, binding type, international standard book number, number of pages, and publication date. The entire structure is represented in a tree-like fashion, so a new attribute is considered to be the child of the book element. We'll use the append child attribute action to insert the title attribute. Similarly, we'll add all other attributes. Then, we create a new element called Publisher as a child of the book element. If some columns are too narrow for their content, you can modify their width by dragging their margins to the left or to the right. Now let's insert the attribute values. To start editing a cell, do one of the following. Double-click that cell or select a cell then press Enter or select a cell then start typing directly. To finish editing, press Enter. The second entry shares similar information with the first book. It is more productive to duplicate the first row and edit it. Because now we have two book elements, the grid mode switches automatically to a table layout. See that the attributes are displayed as columns. Now we type the information for the second book. Let's add the third entry as an empty row. We'll use the insert row action from the toolbar. Oxygen provides actions that allow you to sort the column content either ascendingly or descendingly. The element document order is changed in the document. You can also modify the order of the columns. For this, you can drag a column and drop it in a new position. You can also select and extract sections from the document. For example, you can extract the publisher attribute information and move it into a new element. We are creating a new element called Publishers as a child of the root element. We select the Publisher Attribute column and drag it into the Publishers element. Now we need to add a website attribute using the Insert column contextual action and input the website information.
Now let's take a look at the structure of the XML document we just created. As you can see, the entire document has been written on a single line, which makes it difficult to be handled in text mode. To make the document to be easily readable, you have to activate the format and indent when passing from grid to text option available in the Oxygen Preferences page. Also, here you can configure the view's appearance. The grid XML editor keeps the original line breaks that separate the XML markup and content. For example, we'll break this long line into several pieces, then switch to grid mode. Edit some text. Then switch back to text mode. Note that the formatting is kept intact. However, it is recommended to allow Oxygen to format and indent the XML structure. We'll enable the Format and Indent option. Now, the XML structure is organized properly. Note that all XML editing features from the text mode are also available in the grid mode. You can validate, execute XPAD expressions or apply transformation scenarios. And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.